the current is going to do what it wants to do. And so sometimes you just have to change plans at the last second because the boat is heading where it wants to go. Being able to just accept that and work around it um, changed during the day. This boat will circle so much quicker than other boats. It will just start going the other direction. Look at how straight this goes. Ours will just start going in a certain, like a bump, bumping cars. Yeah, well, even if we let, let go paddle and watch how we go. See how we go? We start going out of control. Look at the scenery. I mean, I didn't even notice these mountains. When you're on the road, you can hardly even see it. But on the water, you can see everything. I keep looking out for that eagle. I just, I know I'm gonna see it any second. Yeah. I feel it. <laughs> you better look out for that rock in front of us instead. <laughs> Sorry about that, reckless driver. Let's go for a ride. Okay. All right, now you get yourself situated. Just don't do any burnouts in my boat. Yeah. I can't promise. Okay, okay. <laughs> I thought uh, yeah, the Statue of Liberty was the most intense. And, uh, but we did it. We were struggling to get to that site, that's for sure. My god. It doesn't look bad from afar, but it really took some maneuvering. I'm actually surprised I didn't end up in the water the whole day. I just ended up on my butt, that's it. My wife and I were holding it down. Get pretty tight near the end, but she did a great job. When you're paddling, dip the paddle in, pull it back. Reverse stroke is just gonna be the same thing backwards. Your arms are staying straight, you stick it in the water, and just twist it. It was fun. I haven't had that much fresh air or the family in months, you know. With all that's going on these days, we were in the house and doing not much of anything nature-wise, so this was a real pleasant ex escape. This is a big time departure from back in the, the hustle and bustle. Though. We get into a whole nother world and are able to get back to uh, nature. It's a good feeling, huh? See where everyone's going down right there? Yeah. That's where we're gonna kind of go down. Do you like uh, Do you like being on the water? Dude, I love being in the water. <laughs> the water relaxes like, my muscles, so, so it's my favorite place to be. It was uh, a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, a lot of fun, a lot of upper body workout. But what I was surprised about is like the muscles that you end up using. You really forget that you're anywhere close to civilization. I mean, even the traffic starts to sound like a waterfall. This is really pretty. Unbelievable, wow. Now that looks like an island, right? I'm not sure, I can't tell from here. It could be a shoreline, or just a attachment or what. It looks like it could be an island. It took a minute, it took a long minute, it took an hour or so to really figure out what stroke was gonna work in what situation. Like even figuring out how to reverse, those things like that. With two people in a boat, both people have to have the same plan at the same time. 
or you're literally going in circles or standing still. My stroke was a lot less powerful than his. And so he ended up having to lessen his stroke so that it would be an even direction. Because if he's overcompensating for my lack of strength, then we're going in the opposite direction. So it's almost like he had to just change his whole approach to make it work a lot of the time. All right, we're going to go up a little bit, have some fun. What do you think? Now, that was cool. I just saw a frog jump in right there along the bank, yeah. So if you if you pay attention to these like rocks, every once in a while you'll see like turtles. Um, you'll see like you'll see frogs. Uh, you may even see like we got we got a lot of minks up here. Minks are part of the, yeah minks are part of the weasel family. They look like a weasel, except they're normally all like a blackish charcoal look, and they look they they're skinny. They almost look a small tiny version of the otter. What do you think? Pretty cool. I love it. Yeah. I kind of need a little paddling. It's funny how water just doesn't stand still for you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my office. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest thing that I think for the water for everyone that I've taken out, Dylan, is how peaceful it is. It's so beautiful out here. If I could have a house right on the, right on the water, like a red house or something, I, I would First, we thought it was something we were doing wrong, but because of the size of the boat and because of our lack of expertise, we just had to kind of learn every second. Using those oil lessons <laughs> and keeping that canoe straight, I must say, it was a, a lesson we learned. I was really impressed with my son, though, especially Cole, who just seemed to take to the rhythm of the stroke better than any of us. Then I started getting more nervous for us. It's just very beautiful to see the hills and the scenery and uh, the water itself. It's quite a joy. It's a full body workout, even though it looks like all upper body. The shoulders are feeling it a bit in the lower back, but um, it was worth it. Uh, a different experience, but a lot of fun. It started getting more nervous for us because we were doing a worse job than they were. Oh! oh. Did you catch one or did you almost fall? No, it just almost fell. There's a <laughs> rock right here. Would you hear that echo? Mm. That was awesome. <laughs>